I gone here? Um, got my uh, phone back together uh, after all that. Uh, kind of demonstrating how I copied the files successfully from the one SD card to the other. And uh, so we haven't turned it on yet, so I'm going to turn it on. And uh, everything should be just fine still. All my apps should be working uh, after copy. After copying, let me get it going here. Okay, after copying from my 32 gigabyte, everything on my SD card, including my apps, to the 64 gigabyte, my new one, everything should be okay. There's. YouTube. I'm just going to open and close a few of them just to see that they work. That was VLC. Taking a bit here. It would be uh, disappointing if it didn't work. It's not working, don't look like. Now, I didn't do any actual copying. Let's see. I copied files from it, but I didn't copy anything to it. So it should be working. Why aren't you working? Okay, we'll try it again. Unless I got myself turned around. But I was trying to make sure I didn't... Uh, you know, I didn't copy anything from that 32 to this since I had already successfully got it working. And uh, let me go in here. Let's see. Let's go to our system. Go to um, storage. Okay, now. Trying to get to where it shows up on the font on the video, and I can read it too. Default storage location SD card. Yep. Wait. There's no space information. You know, uh, in the other video, I couldn't get it to the SD cards to both mount in the Linux systems. Uh, th what was really strange is the other day they were, they mounted perfectly in the laptop, but they wouldn't on the uh, Fedora 21 laptop, but they wouldn't mount in the Fedora 23 desktop. And then today wouldn't mount in either one, but either one would mount separately, but not both at the same time. And then I got them, put them in the Windows 7 system. They both mounted just fine. And I did copy the files from the SD card to the yeah the Windows 7 system to back up the files on the SD card, but I didn't. Uh, copy anything to the SD card because I didn't want to risk having any trouble but you know what it says preferred storage SD card but guess what it's not showing up this is how it mount SD cards uh, uh, is not highlighted you can't do it so I'm going to get all the way out right now looks like I've got no SD card showing up I'll power it off. Huh. I think these SD cards are pretty finicky. I haven't had any of these big... Uh, I've, I've, I have one I had for years, just one SD card that was like a couple hundred megabytes or something that I used in my phone. I hadn't had any big ones, but I always it was always finicky. The uh, only thing I actually had I could put in was my laptop. But it does have Windows 7 and... Uh, Windows Fedora 21 and uh, I, it was finicky and was always giving me trouble but I don't think these things are finicky <coughs> okay I'm back in again I'll click on VLC again to see what happens <coughs> YouTube is uh, native to the phone you know so I guess that's why it ran it's not running so um 
don't know. Maybe I didn't get it uh, all the way plugged in. I'm going to go in there. I'm hoping it's just some little simple thing like that. And not a problem. I don't see why it would have damaged it. I was careful. I unmounted both cards before I took them out of the uh, Windows system so that, you know, they weren't weren't in the middle of writing anything, couldn't cause any trouble or anything. But it don't see that card. So, uh, I mean, at the worst, all I'd have to do is reformat and then copy my backups back to it. But uh, one good thing about backing up, okay, I'm going to have to take it out. Sitting there like that was killing my neck. it's kind of hard to get everything in the right position to where see I can sit here and I imagine this is somewhat in front of the camera but I can't tell for sure because I can't see the screen of the camera but uh, of the phone which is my camera the other phone like this one let me grab my let's see how can I do this I'm gonna first off I'm gonna plug this in to my computer with it with it still running and see if it can be seen on my computer wait let's try a reboot instead of a turn off because I've, I've seen the phones act up come on okay I've seen the phones act up and the reboot would make them like when I was trying to get them to connect to my the Windows 7 system to uh, use that my phone explorer and uh, after I, re I could reboot them and then they just start working so let's see <coughs> I turned it off and turned it back on a minute ago this time I rebooted wouldn't think that would make any difference but you never know it's taking a little more time this time oh yeah I have to have it He's looking at me or else I have to do my code if I if it sees me in time then I'm all right okay now I'm gonna go straight into the I keep forgetting when I'm trying to make a video I can't remember how to do anything storage he jumped up instead of opening it SD card now it sees it okay let me get over here where I can show that I'm showing it. SD card. Uh, the last time I made one of these videos like this, it turned out I couldn't read it anyway. But SD card, 59 gigabytes. Yeah, now that's how it should be. And then uh, available. Yeah, it's bringing in the mail now. Okay. Uh, and then there's the... Uh, Onboard storage. What does it say? Internal storage, yeah. 721 megabyte free space. That's where it generally stays. I had if I didn't have that SD card, this thing would fill up in, in a heartbeat. Okay, so Okay, so well that's good. I think I'll be alright now. That that was VLC me player opens up just fine now it says no files found it's kind of odd how it, it does that make do that whenever I take it out and put it back in or something the card because uh, if I go into the menu and like click on directories then go back it usually finds them turn it this way since that's how you watch videos anyway now it sees it was in the directories I don't use this a whole heck of a lot. I think. Uh, oh, now it's playing. It's playing the directories. Okay, I don't know what I did. I was hitting back, and I wasn't trying. I was just trying to get out of it. So um, I don't know which. I wasn't paying any attention. I was just trying to get out of there. It just wants to stay in there. I don't remember. But anyway. Oh, video I think that'll make it 
at some point, and I guess it'll, it'll have to go back and find him again since the card wasn't recognized, but at some point it will find him again. Okay, with other apps. I didn't uh, click on the camera app a minute ago. Let's see. It's the thing I use the most in these things is the camera. So, uh, yeah, that's working. So I believe everything is going to be fine now. Yes, File Explorer. I know it's in a bad situation here. Makes my neck hurt. Okay. Um, analyze. If it can analyze both both uh, internal and external, then I'll know all everything's cool. But it'll analyze it, and then it's kind of a cool app. Uh, if it wasn't for these ads being stuck in between all the navigation. They stick them in between there, and you don't. It's hard to tell what you're reading, have uh, ads or navigation, and so. But you could uh, clean them up. And Avast has pesky ads, but it's a little easier to use. Like say, if I want to use the cleanup on Avast, it has these separate apps you can get, to, and they're actually kind of worth getting, I guess. I'm gonna analyze it, and it'll tell you right quick. <coughs> well, uh, safe, clean, 3% use space. Of course, I don't have much going on here. Memory boost. It'll kill. It'll kill what it can, but it'll really just. Uh, thing. It, it will. Uh, you can select what you want it to kill and not to kill. So if you're paying attention there, you can. But you, anything that that is set by the system to keep running, you can kill it over and over, and it'll just come back on. And that's the one thing I need to do. There's a bunch of apps, five or five or six apps that are running all the time that I never use ever. And that's what I need to get rid of. And that seems to have been uh, that seems to be the challenge here with these Android phones. Uh, uh, is uh, doing that, getting rid of the crapware. It's not. I mean, it's not crapware to everybody, but you know, if it is, whenever you, it is to me, whenever I don't want it running, but it keeps running anyway. And I actually tried uh, using that all-in-one toolbox to just uninstall some stuff, and I think I installed some things that, uh, you know, it says if you take out system apps, it warns you, you may cause problems such as, one one of the menus says such as your battery, you know, draining fast. Well, <laughs> I did it anyway, and, and the battery started draining fast, and I'm not sure if it's one of the apps I have on here, or if it's that, and, uh, but it drains a lot faster than the other two identical phones that I have, and uh, I didn't, the apps that I have, I don't know which apps they would be. You know, uh, I need to. I guess I need to get really deep into it and find out exactly. You need to know. I'm talking about draining fast when it's turned off, not not just while it's running, but when it's turned off, it drains faster than the other phones do. So. Um, that's why I ended up putting Vast Battery Saver on there, but it hasn't made any difference in that. And uh, so I'll have to figure out if it's an app or if. Well, the things that I uninstalled that I was kind of thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't have. I put them back unless there's something completely missing because they were in the, you know, they were saved in a backup area, and I was able to bring them back. And uh, unless there's some sort of, there's some things that. Uh, they, you were like, I don't remember what they were, but they were part of the s system, but they didn't sound to me like they were p anything needed. And uh, I took them out, but I think I put them all back. But anyway. Um, okay, so it's back to, back to working. So it's actually not too hard, other than the finicky SD cards not not mounting and stuff. It's really not hard to, uh, you know, back everything up and and swap over to another. But I couldn't get it. I couldn't copy my uh, the actual application files. I've already forgot what they are. Something with an A. The application files in that dot Android secure folder won't copy. Uh, while the phone's running via USB, I, I had to take my SD cards out and uh, put them into the computer, and that turned out to be a little bit of a pain. 
but uh, I finally got it done. So there we go. So uh, it's done. Bye bye.